Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to bringing the vision video. What I've guessed today are some tips and tricks on how you can get all the new masks in the game within one hour. Now, this might be a bit of an exaggeration, but it really depends on you as a player and also what gear you have on your character. Um, if you have no classified gear and stuff like that, obviously it's going to take you a little bit longer to get this. Um, then if you have like classified nomad, a reclaimer, uh, defense and you know stuff like that. So just keep that in the back of your mind. But I definitely feel if you follow all these procedures and these tips I'm going to give you guys, you can definitely get all three of them within an hour, hour and a half of playing the game um, and just focusing on the masks. Also, if you guys didn't know, I'm hosting a giveaway on my previous video. If you guys didn't see that, I will leave a link in the description. You guys can check that out. Watch that video. I mean, you don't really have to watch it. Just go in the comments and comments if you want a PSN gift card, Xbox One gift card, or a Steam gift card. Um, so once again, if you guys didn't enter the giveaway, make sure to check out the video I posted yesterday. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this. So the first mask I do want to go over is called Safety First, and this is hands down the easiest mask to get with this globe event. If you guys don't know what the requirements are, pretty much you have to do a uh, blackout activity, pretty much like a mission, without shocking yourself at all. The conditions have to be World Tier 5, it has to be Hard Difficulty or above, um, it has to be Extreme Blackout or Total Blackout modifier, and you also have to be in a group. Now in my opinion, there's two different uh, kind of stages or attempts you can get this mask really easy. The first one is actually the way I got mine, and what that is is just use immune stations on your build and pretty much everyone in your lobby just use immune stations and as you progress into the mission, uh, you could just kind of lay out a path with immune stations and not get shocked at all. It's really simple, it's really safe, um, I would recommend using uh, something like a D3 FNC build, maybe something like a striker build and just specking a lot into skill haze so you can get your immune station really uh, quick and pretty much have like a like a safety barrier I guess you could say so you don't get shocked. Now this is obviously with uh, friends or, or with people you know if you're doing this by yourself the one easy way I would recommend doing this is just kind of sticking back if you go on the like the extreme um, blackout modifier you can kind of stay back uh, behind your teammates let them do all the work and pretty much as, as long as the line um, like the little blue line you guys will see as long as that that thing is like not touching your your teammate you should be fine even if they shock themselves you should be fine and uh, you could pretty much just play it slow not run all the time and you know you, you're gonna get it eventually like i said it takes eight to ten minutes it's really really easy to get the next one we have is called fist of fury and this is actually the panda mask uh, the requirements for this one is perform a melee shock kill for 200 enemies now the 200 enemies are kind of annoying to get, um, at first I did think it was like 100, but once I got to the final stage, it's 200, and that kind of took a little bit. I'm pretty sure it took me like 25 to 30 minutes, 35 minutes of just constantly running the same mission over and over again, and I eventually got this. So what my tips are for this mask are really simple. Uh, first of all, you guys want to do this solo. There's no point of doing this with teammates, there's no point of fighting over kills, um, especially if you're doing like Hudson Refugee Camp. Fighting for kills is just going to waste time, it's going to pretty much stress you out and it's going to make the mask just that much longer to get. Um, so as I said, playing this solo is the way to go. Uh, all the kills are pretty much for you and even if it's a little bit more challenging, even if it's a bit more uh, time consuming because there's a lot of enemies, you're getting all the kills and it, it's pretty much the best way to go. The next tip I have for you guys is changing your difficulty. Uh, for this mask, you do not have to be on challenging, you do not have to be on hard difficulty. If you're coming back to the game, if you're new, um, or if you don't have the best gear on your character, you could do missions on normal difficulty with um, a modifier like the Extreme Blackout modifier or Total Blackout modifier and get this mask as I said. Although on normal and hard, you're not going to have that many NPCs to kill um, when you're by yourself. But if you're struggling, if you're struggling to pretty much complete the mission, if you're struggling to um, stay alive and progress in the mission, lowering down your difficulty is the thing you want to do. As for the strategy, there's two different ways you can get this mask. Uh, the first one is really simple, and that is using a D3 FNC build with a shield, and pretty much you are kind of invincible, you're walking around with the shield, you're sprinting, shooting your submachine gun, uh, pretty much stacking the little bar until you are, um, you know, at maximum, and then you're smacking the NPCs over and over again. This might be a little bit more time consuming since the shield is really clunky and really slow, um, but if you are, as I said, having trouble staying alive, the shield method might be for you. 
Uh, the last one is using a Nomad build with a pistol, and this was pretty much the way I got mine um, towards the end. I got really tired of just carrying the shield around, and it was a little bit clunky as I said. So running around with a 6-piece Nomad build uh, to pretty much have the health and kill and also the protection, and just running around with the pistol, running, shooting the air, uh, once you charge your meter, and then just smacking the NPCs, doing that over and over again um, is a really fast way to get it. Also, I recommend having Predatory on your pistol. Um, as you guys know, when you're doing challenging missions, sometimes you might get shot in the back, sometimes, um, especially in Hudson Refugee Camp, you might get put on fire and stuff like that. And Predatory is pretty much gonna give you your health back over time, and it's a really useful talent uh, to pretty much have whenever you're going for these challenges and this mask. Last but not least, we have the Thunder and Lightning Mask, and this, once again, is a really fast and easy mask to get. All you have to do is get 500 enemy kills when they are shocked. Uh, for this mask, all I did was go into a clear sky by myself and stayed at the first part. As you guys know, whenever you're doing that incursion, if you do not get the explosives and plant them on the um, little container, the enemies will keep spawning and spawning. And that's pretty much all I did. I go, I pretty much got in there and I didn't plant explosives at all. The enemies kept spawning and spawning. I did die a few times, um, but what's really good about that is whenever you die, you spawn literally like 2-3 seconds away from the, the actual part again. So you can just run back there and just kill the enemies over and over again. This took me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. It took me maybe like 40 minutes or so, maybe like 35 minutes to actually get all the kills. But if you're using a high DPS um, kind of build like Striker, 6-piece classified Striker, or if you're using like Nomad, Defense, stuff like that, getting these kills will be pretty simple and you know you can get this mask really fast as I said. The one thing is, I would recommend doing this by yourself um, without any teammates because, once again, you're going to be fighting for kills and that's something you don't want to do when getting these kills and pretty much completing this mask. Anyways, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you guys want to enter the giveaway, make sure to check out the video in my description. Um, click on that video and just comment in the comments saying if you want a PSN gift card, a Steam gift card, or Xbox One gift card uh, so you guys can enter the giveaway. But once again, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.